Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that when we examine the Star Wars franchise, by far, what a lot of fans really cherish is, of course, the Skywalker saga, the Skywalkers per se. We're talking about Anakin, Luke, Leia, Ben Solo, you name it, these characters really do in fact make up the Star Wars franchise and the entire Star Wars universe that really makes it strong. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, obviously, George Lucas, John Favreau, Dave Filoni, as I like to call them, FFL or LFF, the new trio to the Star Wars universe, they're really working hard on really making new, authentic Star Wars stories, moving on forward throughout this entire decade for Disney+, Plus and for the new Star Wars trilogy of films and other movies out there, I must add. Now, the thing about all of that is that there's one project that a lot of fans have been very much up in arms over, and that is, in fact, the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series, the all-female-led Star Wars TV show that's going to really promote identity politics real-world issues and personal agendas, something that fans really don't really even ask for. All we want is a good story. Now, the thing about all of this is, of course, what Hedlund plans to do with this new Star Wars TV series, and of course, who she wants to lead the Star Wars TV show as far as the lead actress for this all-female-led Star Wars TV series. And there is one particular one in mind by Hedlund and Kathleen Kennedy that is really not going to sit well with a lot of Star Wars fans out there, guaranteed. Uh, and that, of, of course, is actress Brie Larson from Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame. Now, on top of all of this, what's really interesting, of course, is that with both Disney and Lucasfilm now trying to rebuild the Star Wars brand into something more successful for the fans to enjoy, it's explained that both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek have been hard at work on developing the new Star Wars universe for the fans around the world to create a better and brighter future for the Star Wars community and the entire fandom. Now, it's explained that they have plans for over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects and that they only have no control over one project Project, which is the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series for Disney Plus, where it's explained that Leslie Headland has been in the talks with actress Brie Larson to become a part of the new Star Wars universe, and that Brie Larson has connections with Kathleen Kennedy since she was originally going to be Ahsoka Tano for The Mandalorian Season 2 and her own TV series. Thankfully, she was shifted from that concept, however, Kennedy is said to have been in the talks with Brie Larson, and that Headland is excited to work with her. Brie Larson is described to be a dedicated actress that wants to change the Star Wars franchise with her acting style, and that whatever actors or actresses that work with Larson are planned to follow Larson's acting capabilities. Leslie Headland is described to have plans to create an acting style for her TV series, and that Brie Larson came up with the idea to have other actors observe how she acts in order to give Star Wars a brand new tone and acting style, similar to how actors act in the MCU and how it has its own tone. Brie is said to want to create a new acting style for Star Wars, where Brie Larson is described to have a dream to have other actors act like her for the all-female-led Star Wars TV series, and that Leslie Headland loves and supports this idea for Brie to create new acting styles for Star Wars in general, starting with this particular Star Wars TV series for Disney Plus as a platform. Now, it's explained that Brie Larson has discussed this idea with Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy and that Kennedy supports this idea as well. However, both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are both 100% against this idea and believe it would make the franchise further disjointed by creating a new acting style for Star Wars in general. The plan by Hedlund and Larson is to also inspire new actors and actresses when they step on board of the set of this new project to look up to an already established actress that has been in a major blockbuster film, such as Avengers Endgame, for example. Hedlund is said to be moving forward with this idea for her new TV series that will be Become very unique in the Star Wars franchise to make it contain a different tone than ever before for the Star Wars brand. George Lucas is also said to be against this idea as well by them creating a new acting style based on one actress. Let me just say one thing here is that this sounds like a disaster. I don't know about you guys, but to actually create an acting style is one thing. But to create an acting style because of how one actress wants to act in an actual Star Wars TV series is another thing and, a ding, and an actual thing on a whole different level, right? So when we look at it in this sense, right? Leslie Headland obviously 
doesn't necessarily care about the Star Wars brand from what it seems. It almost comes off as if she is just trying to use the Star Wars brand or the Star Wars label on her series, if you will, to promote her writing capabilities, how well she can be as a writer for an actual TV show. At least that's how I see things. Now, Brie Larson, say what you will about Brie Larson. Everybody has their opinion, which is fine. In my opinion, not a great actress at all. I feel that she doesn't belong in Star Wars. She doesn't deserve to be in Star Wars. That's just how I see things. That's just my personal opinion. I was not impressed in any way, shape, or form with her in Captain Marvel or in Avengers Endgame. And I'm really against her from what I have seen her as in some of the interviews out there and her stance on certain aspects of Hollywood. You guys know exactly well what I'm talking about if you guys have seen those interviews. So with that being said guys, you know, drop a comment below, let me know think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.